Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. We've reached the letter I and that's all about insights. Insights is one of the coolest things with Inside Dynamics 365 Marketing. It's going to allow you to review your data in so many different ways and different places. So we're not going to cover all of them, but you can find an Insights tab on the forms for contacts, leads, segments, customer journeys, email messages, lead scoring models, marketing pages, marketing forms, websites, and redirect URLs. So let's jump into a couple of those different areas. So the first thing we're going to look at is we will review the marketing websites. So this is where you can have the tracking code put onto your website and you can see where people are coming from and which pages they're going to. So if we look at a marketing website, we can click on the insights tab, and we're able to see the top 10 pages in terms of the number of unique visits. We can then scroll down and we can see the location and we can look to see websites clicks and website visits. And then what we can do is we can drill down into the different places. So we can go through and look at um, North America. So I can then look at America and I can look at Canada and as I Canada, California. And as I click through, we'll see that that number then disperses to where we can see exactly where people are visiting from. So it's really interesting in terms of being able to see specifically where people are coming from without needing to go into Google Analytics, because not everyone's going to have access to that. We can then also see um, and do, drill down further and look at specific visits. And if it's linked to a specific contact, we'd be able to see their name. We can then look at form visits specifically and then also any form submissions we might have. All right, so then if we move on to marketing emails and let's go into this one, we're also going to have an insights tab on an email. So if you consider a customer journey that you've sent someone through and as part of that journey, you've got a marketing email, it's going to be the insights on the email that will give you things like how many emails were visited, sorry, how many emails were delivered, the number of unique opens, clicks, bounces, all of that kind of stuff. So we can then drill down further and look at information about delivery. So if we've got anything that's been blocked, if we've got delivery failures because maybe something bounced, it was an incorrect email, um, we can go ahead and we can look at all that information. We also then have any links and we can see a heat map for links that were clicked. We then are able to look at any specific interactions. So drilling down into who's actually opened the emails, who's actually clicked on the emails, that kind of thing. And then we've got open times, best times, maybe that you want to then send your emails out in the future. And then if you've got any A-B testing you've done, you can look at that too. All right, so if we move on to a marketing form and let's look at our speaker profile one. And again, we have an insights tab. So as these pieces of content are used and we can actually have interactions with them, we can then see from this specific form how many submissions, unique submissions, um, contacts that were updated and so on. And then we can see the information that came through as part of that form submission. We can then look at visits. So from the form, how many people actually visited it? And we know who these people are based on the, um, the cookies and someone actually going through and clicking on links. We can then see which contact it was that interacted with that form. All right, so we move on to our customer journey. So if we go into one of our customer journeys and let's look at this one. Again, we get an insights tab. So once the journey has actually begun, we can then get an overview and say, okay, well, if there were any emails as part of the journey, what are the results of those emails being delivered? If there are any pages, what are the interactions? And then also we could look at any incomplete journeys. So if a contact doesn't have an email, if the um, information isn't valid in terms of somebody's actually opted out or they didn't have the right consent level, that kind of thing, we'd be able to see that information. And then finally, which might be of the most importance from a sales perspective or a customer service perspective, I then can look at an insights tab for a specific contact. This is going to give us the full timeline, the full journey for a specific person. This is where we can see, okay, forms that were submitted, emails that were forwarded. We can 
look at this timeline and go through and review it. We can switch so we can see a, a list rather than the actual sort of flow chart, whatever makes the most sense for us to view. We then have a breakdown of all those interactions. And then if there are any journeys that were stopped for this person or if somebody joined a suppression segment, we see that too. And then moving forward, we can then drill down into specific things all about emails, all about web interactions, event interactions, and so on. So this is a really good way to be able to see what it is that your contacts are interested in, what they are engaging with. Um, so make sure that you start paying attention, if you're not already, to those insights tabs on all of those different types of records that are related to Dynamics 365 Marketing. So again, I is for insights. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.